Well, I've had you know, the last couple of days here to inspect the system, and, and, and uh, we actually ran the system and collected data here in Las Vegas on Saturday. And uh, it, it's impressive. It's, you know, they, they've obviously given some thought and put some effort into the form factor, um, the camera upgrades. Um, you know, I've done a lot of reading about ProPack 6. It's exciting that they've integrated the newest Novotel GNSS solution, um, the tri-band uh, GNSS receiver. Um, so I'm excited to, you know, to get our hands on it and test it a little bit more to, to see you know, what kind of positioning uh, improvements that we're seeing. Um, but no, I'm very impressed. I like the idea of building a sensor platform. Um, if, you, if you look at the Pegasus, you know, you've got external uh, ports now where we can access the very precise trajectory solution for other sensors. And that's key, you know, we're always looking at ways to collect other data, not just LiDAR and imagery, but can we integrate an LCMS system? Can we integrate GPR? Um, so those, those are exciting things. You know, we do multi-beam surveying, so it's exciting to have the, the ability to integrate that survey grade trajectory solution with our multi-beam systems. Um, so that, that's very exciting. I, they've obviously put some effort and thought in, in, into the development. So One question, like I said about this, this sensor platform, it, it's exciting that they're sort of developing around this concept. So my question, I guess, for Stuart would be, um, you know, have you done testing with other sensors, sure. um, integrating GPR or these LCMS sure. systems? I mean, absolutely. I mean, you know, we, we knew from the beginning with Pegasus One that we had to look at other ways, like Brad said, of collecting data. When you collect something once, you don't want to go back again. That's where your expense is, is sending that out. And so from that standpoint, yes, we have. Uh, we've got a customer in France who's done, done ground penetrating radar as an external sensor. Uh, What's really wild for us now is, is the number of sensors that customers want to look at. Obviously yourself with multiple band, I mean we know that. Um, but now we're hearing thermal cameras, we're hearing pollution monitors, we're hearing, uh, you know, you name it, the number of sensors that customers just want to collect that tiny little bit of data while they're out driving the road, they want to do that at the same time. So yes, we've tested it, and now what's, what's really exciting for us is we don't know where that limit is, right? Because the world is changing and the decisions that we have to make, like you heard from Ola and Jurgen yesterday, they're very complex decisions. And as the world changes, you know, you and I might be faced with a situation where we got to do CO2 detection or something you know, along highways. These are the kinds of things that we're trying to prepare for so that you can collect once, but then have all the assets together. Absolutely, it's something that we've tested and we believe in also from a philosophy standpoint, mobile mapping cannot just be a highway-based asset solution. Mm -hmm. It is a sensor platform, absolutely.